I'm really grateful and honored to be part of this park, this historic park that is very unique in the world, um, that I share my voice with all the voices of uh, this community. Um, and the mural that I painted, uh, I painted it in 1997. It was during the retrofit. I remember the first time that I came to Chicano Park. Uh, I was 14 years old and I walked into this beautiful uh, gallery of voices. And the thing that was striking is that I related to the voices, to the struggle. Um, but the thing that was missing was the voice of, of a strong woman. Um, and so when I was 14, um, it was like, it was whispered to me. Um, and so I decided to, uh, to look for artists to help me paint this mural. And it was challenging. Um, in the end, uh, I ended up uh, hooking up with my mentor. Um, and he helped me and assisted me in um, giving me a forum for my voice. Um, as a community activist, um, when I was in my 20s, I was very feisty and energetic. Um, I'm really happy to know that now uh, in Chicana Park, it's a little bit more inviting to the young women who have um, participated. Um, but within my experience, it was really difficult and an uphill battle. Um, so I think it's really important to be able to walk somewhere and have these images that represent you, to give a voice and to give a forum for your own voice. And I'm really a big proponent of uh, creating safety in order to do that. You know, as Chicanos, we've had to really fight against uh, racism. And um, I think that there's another layer of uh, being a woman and fighting that same fight. Um, my fight still continues within the community, but it's a lot different. Um, I think it's an important thing to have those images represent you, to give you hope, to give you a voice, to give you ownership. Um, and again, I'm just really proud to be part of this park. My name is Stephanie Cecilia Cervantes. I am one of the younger female Chicana artists that participated in Chicano Park's mural restoration starting in 2011 and into 2012. Um, my first mural, uh, I participated in the Barrio Logan Peacock. I did the first 20 feet of the feathers, so um, that was sort of my entry into the park and um, kind of leaving my feminine mark. Um, I did not anticipate or think, you know, that I would participate in more murals, but um, as time progressed, I ended up participating in six more, which has been a really great accomplishment for me, and as well as a battle. Having that foot in the door for female artists is, um, I don't know, a great honor for both me and Berenice. Um, I, I believe she had um, more so to do with um, that entry because um, of her mural being one of the first female imprints in this park. And a lot of egos existed and I wasn't always treated fairly or, or um, respected. But then as well, I had the um, opposite nurturing from some artists, which kind of helped me um, hold on and, and continue, you know, um, to be a part of the experience. So it was, it was bittersweet, you know. Um, that bittersweetness is, is kind of, you know, with anything in life, so just, um, being able to balance myself and not get too ill, you know, because I think it takes a toll on the body as an artist. What a great thing to be a part of, what a legacy to leave behind. And it's, it's just fascinating to also um, think about how long, you know, this is going to last 
you know, it's not something that's going to go away. It's, it's something very monumental for Chicanos, Chicanas alike. And uh, I'm very happy to be a part of that now.